Hi everyone, Mikey Malone with Motive Alpha and I'm here to tell you today about my new favorite game, Empyrean Galactic Survival. Empyrean is exactly what it sounds like. It's a 3D open world space survival game where you crash down on a planet and literally the galaxy is your playground. You just gotta survive. Uh, it was released in 2015 by Alien Game Studios. It's currently in its Alpha 12.2 phase. I say currently because Alien has announced that on their next update they're dropping the Alpha and the early access tags and they're going live. So maybe they'll start with version 1. Who knows? Uh, you can play single player, you can play multiplayer in any of the servers that are there. Uh, you can play creative mode, survival mode, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can set it up. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and set up a dedicated server. I'm going to show you two ways to set it up and uh, tell you which one's probably the better option for you. So make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on everything, and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so the first way we're going to do is with the Steam client. You have uh, Empyrean purchase, great. Uh, so now we're going to go into our library and we're going to go uh, make sure we're showing our tools. You can switch here to tools specifically. Uh, you can also, uh, a couple of different ways of doing it. Um, but the easiest way I like to do is, oops, nope, we're going to show tools. There we go. So what this usually does is it's all the apps and whatnot that you can get. Uh, and if your games have a dedicated server you can install, uh, it'll give you that. So in here is Empyrean Galactic Survival Dedicated Server. We're going to click on that. We're going to click on install. Uh, we're going to install it under our C Steam library. We're going to go ahead and let it run. Do, 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 do. And we're going to wait for it to install. It's going to download. It's a little bit bigger than I expected initially. Uh, so we'll do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. It's installed. Awesome. 4.8 gigabytes is what it currently installs at. I'm going to go ahead and click the play button, and that should launch our dedicated graphic interface. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Great. There it is. It's installed. The server's running. Uh, you see here it's got the server name, my server, and game name, dedicated, or dedicated game, default multiplayer, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to edit all that later. We're going to, because the editing is going to be the same no matter which method you install it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just save and exit. And now let's get on to the Steam command version of installing it. So save and exit and we'll be right back with method number two of installing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it installed with Steam command now. So if you don't have Steam command already installed, do a Google search for Steam CMD. Uh, it's going to bring you to the Valsoft uh, page here, and you're going to go to downloading Steam command, and then for Windows, right here, it's super simple. You're going to create a folder somewhere, you're going to download this zip file here and extract it, and it's going to give you a uh, .exe file to run. Now I've already done that, so let's go ahead and open up the command prompt there. So, command, there we go, if you do it. Uh, directory you can see the only thing I've got in here is the actual steam command file that I downloaded so the first thing we do is run it it's gonna take a few minutes or a few moments I should say here depending on how fast your internet is it's not a very big file downloads extracts everything and installs it and then if it's complete you're gonna see that it says uh, everything's good and quit to exit. You'll see you're in the Steam command prompt right here. It says Steam instead of you know your usual C colon whatever. So let's go ahead and quit out of that. And if we do a directory, we can see everything there. Perfect. Everything's installed. Good to go. So Steam command is set up and ready to go now. So let's go ahead and uh, go on to the next step, which is actually installing the Empyrean dedicated server. Uh, you can do each of these. Uh, Steam commands individually inside the command shell, or you can do it all as uh, a string passed along, and that's how I'm going to do it. So we're going to do Steam command. First thing is we're going to do the plus login, and we're saying anonymous, 
because we want it to not be attached to a specific uh, Steam account. Then we're going to tell it where to install. So force underscore install underscore dir. And I'm just going to put it here in the Steam command folder and we'll put it under Empyrean. Why not? Next thing we're going to do is tell Steam command what to update. So plus app underscore update and the game ID for Steam uh, Empyrean is 530870. And after you've downloaded it, we want it to validate the files after it's downloaded it. Perfect. And then the final command we're sending to the Steam command is quit. So it's going to, if, if everything goes well, it's going to log in as anonymous, it's going to switch to the Empyrean directory, and it's going to download, validate the game, and then quit out. So we'll go ahead and let it do its thing here, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, great. So it's installed. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next phase. Let's uh, actually just make sure everything installed. So we switch into our Empyrean directory and do a directory uh, command. Yep, everything's there. Uh, all the stuff got installed. The YAML uh, is your settings, which we'll go into in a minute. Uh, we'll see that there's two different uh, CMD files here, command files, and then an exe. You might want to run the exe, but she'd be wrong. Uh, we're going to run the command because what we're going to do is each of these uh, does the dedicated server differently. You see the first one and then the next one is without graphics. That's something you might want to do after you've uh, done everything here and gotten comfortable with uh, running the server. So the first thing we're going to do is run the dedicated command. And we should see something uh, familiar pop up here. And what do you know? There's our server. Uh, there we go again. It's showing my server, Daddy Game, Default Multi, all the uh, default stuff there. So once this uh, save and exit pops up, there we go. We're going to go and exit it. Bye bye, dedicated server. And uh, let's move on to the next phase, which is actually editing our uh, settings there. So I've got a window up here, Empyrean, and we're going to just right click, or I'm going to right click and edit with Notepad. You can open it with uh, whatever your favorite text editor is. I use Notepad++. Uh, as you can see, looking through here, everything is pretty well documented on uh, the settings. Uh, so you've got your server port, server name, you're going to want to change this to, you know, something other than the default stuff. You can change the port to whatever as well. Um, since I'm not worried about it and I've actually already got that open uh, on my firewall in case other people wanted to play, uh, we'll leave it at that. I'm going to change this to uh, Motive Alpha Survival. Uh, you could set a password, you could set the max number of players. In fact, let's do that. We're going to set it to uh, we'll set it to 40. Uh, idle play fields, if you want to change the settings on there, you could. Server description, if you wanted to set up a special description on the server. Server public, this tells you whether or not you know it shows up in the game's browser list. Uh, you might want to hide it if you're running a private server just for you and your friends, however you want to do it. Um, so basically, you just go through and uh, adjust all of these to your heart's content. And again, down here, game name, I'm going to call it uh, Motive Daddy. Why not? Uh, we are going to be a survival setup and seed number. This is just a random seven digit number. Uh, this is just how it procedurally generates the galaxy. So you can change that to whatever you want. Um, if you're running, like, let's say you're running multiple servers and you want the servers to be the same. Uh, same galaxy setup and whatnot, you would set the seed on those to the same uh, same seed number. So that's how you set it up. Uh, let's go ahead and save the YAML real quick and let's run that command again. And we should see the 
options have changed now. And look at that, mode of alpha survival, mode of daddy. I'm leaving it as a default multiplayer. And there you go. That's as simple as it is. So explore, have some fun. The game is really, really fun. Really, uh, really piques my interest in multiple multiple methods. Creatively, I can build my you know build stuff in creative mode. Get creative on how I form ships and bases and all that type of stuff. Uh, there's PvP, PVE, all sorts of methods. So hopefully you give it a shot and enjoy it. And thanks for tuning in. Make sure again you smash that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and uh, we'll see you again soon.